Hi guys, it's Gordon at Avalites here. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of working with timecode inside a queue list. There are a couple of things we need to do to set up our console ready to pay attention to timecode. The first is on our program menu, and this is to tap soft key E, which is timecode. Here you can see that I have a soft key that says timer enabled or disabled. If I'm working with timecode, then this timer needs to be enabled. On soft key D, you can see connected queue lists. Here I have a queue list called song one, so I'd like this to be connected to timecode. In Titan, we can deal with five different times kinds of timecode. We can deal with internal timecode, MIDI timecode, Winamp timecode, clock, and SMTPE. For this example, I'm going to use internal timecode so that you can see me play, pause, and reset this timer. The next thing we need to do is we need to go over to our queue list and make sure that this queue list is ready to receive timecode information. In the queue list, we can select one or a number of different queues to have timecode enabled on them. For this example, I'm going to enable all of these queues to listen to timecode. As soon as this is enabled, you'll see a series of zeros there because we haven't given these queues any particular timecode information. So I have my timer enabled. I have this particular queue list connected. So I'm ready to start using. If I tap record, then the console is listening to timecode information. You can see also there, it says press go to record. But this timer is not counting up just yet because I need to go to the next page and I need to press play. If you're dealing with an external timecode source, then these play, pause and reset options will be on that. Now I can operate my show exactly as normal. As you can see, when I press go, the time information is going into this queue list. As soon as I'm done, I can pause the timer. If I'm happy with the information I've put inside there, I can press record to stop recording. Now, if I reset this timer, you'll be able to see that my lights, when this time is reached, will go to that queue for me. This means that you can hit songs exactly on the second, nice and easily. Now that I've reset my timecode, you'll see that the zeros are back at the top. Because this zero time information is coming out and my Q1 has zeros as time information, if I press play, this timer is gonna start counting up. And as soon as this particular time is reached, my lights are going to go to this next queue, as you can see. Timecode enables you to hit the beat dead on if somebody's playing to a track. It enables interesting looks and automated looks, especially for complicated shows. Thanks for watching this introduction to working with Timecode. Please tune into the next video to see some more interesting features inside Titan.